Hello, you beautiful people. How are you today? Oh my goodness, it's been a little while since I've read to you, but boy, do I have a fun, fun book for us today. I bet you can't guess what the name of this book is. Hmm, I'll give you a clue. The name of this book is Triangle. Oh my goodness. And it's by one of my favorite, favorite, favorite authors and artists, John Clausen and his person he works with, Mac Barnett. So the book is actually by Mac Barnett and John Clausen. It's a story about triangle. I think you're gonna get a kick out of this story. Let's start. This is triangle. <laughs> Do you notice the shapes of what he has around him? Mm -hmm. This, <laughs> well, this is triangle's house. Look at his house. What shapes are they made out of? Oh my goodness, that's right. Triangle's house is made of triangles and the stuff around Triangle's house, let's take a look, <laughs> is made of triangles. Oh, this is Triangle in his house and that is Triangle's door. Look, there's a picture of Triangle on the wall. This is how Triangle gets in and out of his house. That makes sense, right? One day, Triangle walked out of his door and away from his house. He was going to play a sneaky trick on Square. You see the shapes? Everything in Triangle's life right now is triangles. He's going to play a, tricky, a sneaky trick. I always said a tricky snick. I wonder what the sneaky trick is going to be. Hmm. He walked past small triangles and medium triangles and big triangles. And look at triangle's eyes. Do you see? They're looking forward. They're looking forward to Square's house. Hey, are you thinking what I'm thinking? Hmm. What shape do you think Square's house is going to be? Hmm. He walked past shapes that weren't triangles anymore. Oh, they're starting to look less and less like triangles as he walks towards Square's house. What are you thinking Square's house is going to look like? I wonder. They were shapes with no names. They're sort of blobby rocks, huh? He walked until he got to a place where there were squares. You see? The rocks are starting to take the shape of squares. Were you right? Were you thinking Square's house was going to look like a square? Hmm. Still thinking of his sneaky trick, he walked past big squares and medium squares and small squares. I wonder what his trick's going to be. It's sneaky, whatever it is. Until he got to Square's house. Now, said Triangle, I will play my sneaky trick. Were you right? Was Square's house a square? <laughs> it was. It was. Triangle walked up to Square's door and said, Hiss, just like a snake.
Hmm. Wonder why he did that. Oh, Square was afraid of snakes. Oh me, oh my, said Square. Go away, you snake. Leave my door. Hiss, said Triangle. Hiss, hiss, hiss. Oh dear, 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 said Square. How many snakes are out there? Ten? Ten million? Go away, snakes! What do you notice about Square's house? It has a square door, a picture of Square. Look how scared Square looks because of the snakes. Now we know what the sneaky trick is, don't we? Mm -mm. Triangle could not hiss anymore. He was laughing too hard. Triangle, said Square, is that you? Yes, said Triangle. I know you are afraid of snakes. I have played a sneaky trick on you. I actually feel a little sad for Square. I don't like to have tricks played on me. This is one of my favorite things that Mac Barnett and John Clausen do. There's no words on this picture, but if we look at the eyes, we can sort of guess what triangle and square are thinking. Triangle might be thinking, hmm, maybe I, maybe it wasn't funny to scare square. <laughs> that rhymes. And square might be thinking, you know, I'm, I'm angry at triangle for, for scaring me. Those words aren't on the page. That's, that's what's happening in my brain. Square ran after triangle past small squares and medium squares and big squares. He's chasing him. He ran past the shapes with no names. <laughs> Isn't this cute? Look at how they're jumping on the rocks that are shapes with no names. Past the big triangles and medium triangles and small triangles. <gasps> We're going back to whose house? We're going back to Triangle's house. Up to Triangle's house and right through his door. Can Square go in Triangle's house? What do you think? Almost. He can't fit in the door, can he? You are stuck! Triangle laughed and laughed. Look at Square's eyes. He's so worried. Triangle still laughing at Square. Hmm. Then he stopped. His house was all dark. Oh, Triangle was afraid of the dark. It's too dark, said Triangle. You're blocking my light. Go away, you block, leave my door. It was Square's turn to laugh. I know you are afraid of the dark. Now I have played a sneaky trick on you. You see, Triangle, this was my plan all along. Hmm. But do you really believe him? Was that Square's plan all along to block the light to Triangle's house so Triangle would be afraid of the dark? What do you think? I think no. I think that it was just an accident that Square scared Triangle. And that, my love nuggets, is the book called Triangle. Now, 
Next time we meet, I have this book for you called, what do you think it's called? Do you think it's called? You are absolutely correct. So next time we're gonna read Square. I hope you enjoyed Triangle. Oh, I love you, I love you. See you later.